video I'm going to show you how to make your own changeable and drop down um, tumbles or planners. Uh, these, this has been something that I have had um, for a few years now and I come back to use it a couple of times. Um, but I must admit I haven't probably actually looked into how I made this uh, for a good couple of years now and I've had lots of people request how to do this, how to follow up and make their own and <laughs> I did have to go back and re-teach myself because it was well over um, two years ago that I made this. Um, so I did have to go back and relearn so bear with me as I teach you and follow you through um, how to make your own uh, and so what you do is you need to have Google Sheets and you need to have the um, pictures that you want to be able to flick through. Um, so those are really important to be able to have in order to make your drop down menu. And so how it works is that there's the list of the things you want to drop down and change it to two. And then um, it uses data validation and color code um, conditional formatting to then change it to be the color or to look the way that you want it to do. Okay, so I did have a play around, it took me a while, so bear with me if I teach it to you wrong, I do apologize, but I will do my best to try and make sure I give you an accurate representation of how this will work. So what you need to do is you need to have your grid set up. Um, and you need to have a space for the words and then a space next to it for the pictures if that's what you're wanting to have the picture automatically look up um, and change as well. And uh, then you want to create, so your main template here and you want to label it template and then you need to have a sub page or a next page that is for your pictures and that's where you're wanting to get these things from. Okay. So if I come over to pictures, you'll see that I've already got two here because I was um, tattooing around and trying to figure out how to do it. So I can explain it to you the best way possible. Um, so you have, want to have these downloaded and accessible already. Um, and then over here is where you name it. So this is where the word is that it will come come from in the drop down menu uh, and then you want to insert the picture next to it um, into the cell so you want to go insert image in the cell and then upload your picture that you want to use and then it will save it inside the cell which is what you want cool there you go and so the more you add you just sort of filter down um, and add as many as you want um, into here and so I've sort of made the cells a little bit bigger so that I can see the picture that I'm wanting um, and uh, in my usual one so in this one here I've got this is my usual template um, quite a few so I've got 16 that I filter through and they're just pictures from my um, program that I'm using and things so you might have different activities based on the ones that you are implementing um, so you've got those there and then in your template you're wanting to create the data validation so this is where you're wanting to link it to make it so that it drops down here like these ones so that if I change it it'll flick over and bring up um, bring up the different word here okay so not this part here this is something completely different just this part here so you're wanting it to filter through and change the words okay you're going to click on the cell that you want you're going to come over to data and then data validation okay and then it's going to sort of ask you where do you want it to go and you're going to click here list from a range okay because you're not just having one particular cell you're, you're using a range of cells in this one here and to get just the column here just the a column because that's where your words are that's the part that you want to pop up you're going to click you're going to type equals pictures exclamation mark then you're going to do an A semicolon A and it's going to just drop down and create a drop down with everything that's in A. And you want to leave the A1 blank, so leave that square blank and then start on the second row. So you're just going to go from there and then you're going to click on save. And if I go back, there should now be a drop down box and it has got the words in it for me to choose from. Okay, so... I can then resize it, make it how I want it to be, um, so that it's all you know centralized and, and over and things like that. And then once you add in more, so say for example, if I add in like example and then example two, 
those words should then pop up down here and be included that I can change from here because I'm using the um, the same column here the A column and then I can just simply copy the box and paste it over and then if it comes up with a warning so it might say that it's not falling within the right range um, you can just come back to your data validation and make sure that it's referring to the A column and the A column because remember you're going back to the pictures and that's the range that it chooses from and then it should clear and you'll see that it's no longer um, with a red little warning like that one there and you just simply toggle the words okay so that's how you do the drop down part now you want to do the picture part, so the part on the side so that it automatically jumps to the pictures um, to match the word, okay? And this is the part that took me so long to remember how to do. So you're going to click in the square next to it, okay? The square next to it. And you'll see that it comes up with a little algorithm up here based on what I've done and so once you enter it the first time you can just sort of copy um, copy and paste the algorithm over and it will um, match it up once you do it once you can just simply duplicate it into each box to save time okay okay so you want to enter do your equal sign V lookup then you want to select the cell that you're wanting it to look up from so for this particular one, it's the cell next to it, because that's what I want it to search up through. Then you're going to uh, do a comma and type the word pictures, because that's where you're looking up the pictures from. So whatever this tab in here is called is what you search up. Then you do an exclamation mark, and you want to do A, semicolon, B, comma, then you need to do the number two and then comma and then false. Now I'm not sure why it only works with just this, but this is what you want to type in to get it to work. You push enter and then it's brought up the picture. So now when I change this, it's going to switch it to the different picture. And now because in here under example, there is no picture, that's why it's blank, but it will continue to go through and change them based on that. And so, so now I need to be able to do the same thing over here. Um, I can copy this algorithm here, paste it into this box, except instead of it saying F5, because I don't want it to look up this one, I want it to look up the box that's next to it. Um, it will now change it through because it's looking up in the column of the one you're looking into for example so the matching column next to it okay and so now to get it to change color that's the last thing um, we use conditional formatting for that so you just go format um, conditional formatting and it will bring it on the side and then what you want it to do is you want to create rules this is the tiresome part but this is the part that color matches it is you want the text to contain um, the words that you want it to say and when it does that it changes to the color that you want click done and then now when the text contains read to someone it changes it to green so let's do the next one I want the text to contain stamping and when it contains the word stamping I want it to change to this color here I'm going to click done and then now if I change that one, there we go, it does it to stamping. Um, and when I change it, it's just going to go back. So now Play-Doh, let's do Play-Doh. I want, if the text contains the word Play-Doh, it's going to change it to the color blue, click done. And so now it's going to change those in there. And so it's only showing me this one square because that's the only one square that I have formatted and then I want to make sure that I'm applying it to the range to all of the cells if that makes sense so I've just selected the cells um, so now it's not just this one square it's going to be all of the cells um, so that I'm covering 
everything so that it changes them at all in all of the cells if that makes sense probably not because I'm a little bit waffly in this part so you want to apply it to the range you don't just want to apply it to the cell d5 you want to apply it to all the cells in all of your um, plan so you want to select all the cells and then click OK and click done so now anything in these three shows those words it will change to that color right so there we go um, and so these ones are changing over because I have formatted that one to say so um, but these ones here I haven't yet programmed so I hope that makes sense the first thing you want to do is add your pictures then you want to uh, use the data validation to find your lists then you need to um, do the same thing with VLOOKUP for your pictures and then you want to add the colors in using conditional formatting to make it automatically change to the color you want. Thanks so much.